Hello everyone, I have a question. Do you know what is a sarong? Hey kids, Zebra here. Hi Bear, what are you doing? Oh hi Miss Zebra, I am asking everyone if they know what is a sarong. Do you know what is a sarong, Miss Zebra? Well, you're in luck today, honey bear. Today's story is about the culture and history of sarongs. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the story. The Amazing Sarong by Kwek Hong Shin. Nora's mother has a batik sarong that was handed down to her by her grandparents. Nora loves its beautiful pattern of flowers, leaves, shapes, and dots. One sunny day, Nora calls out to her mother. Ibu, I'm going to the beach with brother. All right, take the sarong with you, says Ibu. She puts little Putra down and removes the baby sling tied across her body. Ibu wraps the sarong on Nora's head like a turban. This will protect you from the sun, she says. Let's go, sister, shouts Adi. Nora waves goodbye to Ibu and eagerly follows her big brother. At the beach, Adi and Nora race into the water. Oh, it's cold, Nora exclaims. He's more! Adi playfully splashes water at her. After a while, Nora and Adi are dripping wet. Let's dry up, Nora says as she unfurls the sorrow on her head. She and Adi use it as a towel. When they've dried themselves, Adi hangs the sarong across the tree branches. We can rest in the shade, Adi tells his sister. Just as they are about to doze off in the sea breeze, Nora spots a group of children running towards them. They are her friends, Xiaoming, Asha and Fauzi. Nora, there you are, calls Xiaoming. We were looking for you. Want to play blind man's bluff? Yes, but we need a blindfold, Nora replies, then pulls the sarong down from the tree, and we have won! Yay! Everyone cheers in delight. Nora wraps the cloth over Asha's eyes, while Adi uses a stick to draw a big circle in the sand as the boundary. The children squeal and giggle as Asha stretches out her arms to catch them. Can she guess who she has caught? Hmm. Let us play another game, Fauzi suggests. He begins to twist the sarong into a long cord with a knot in the middle. Tug of war, shouts Xiaoming. He teams up with Nora and Asha partners Fauzi. Adi marks a center line in the set and takes his position as the referee. The two teams grab opposite ends of the sarong excitedly. Ready? Get set? Pull! commands Adi. Immediately, the boys and the girls pull the sarong rope with all their might. They have to make sure no one on their team crosses the midline. Both sides seem to be equally strong. Hmm, who will win? Just then, Xiaoming takes one hand off the rope to wave away a fly. Seeing this, Fauzi and Asha gave a big tug and Nora crosses the line. Fauzi and Asha win, Adi declares. We'll win next time, Xiaoming says as everyone laughs. After playing, it is time for a snack. Adi spreads the sarong out under a pong pong tree. As the children sit on the sarong, Fauzi takes out a package wrapped in banana leaf from his bag. My mother made these quay Korea, he offers. <gasps> Eagerly, each of them takes a quay. Sunbirds chirp cheerily as the children munch on their delicious sweet snack. I think it is time to go. Adi tells Nora when they finish eating. Nora takes the sarong and puts it over his 
his shoulders like a cape. As the children make their way back to the kampong, they hear a soft mewing. children look around. Where can the kitten be? There it is! Asha suddenly yells. All of them turn and spot a kitten hanging from a tree branch. Everyone runs to the tree. Adi has an idea. He gets the children to hold all four corners of the sarong under the tree. Here kitty kitty kitty! Adi says gently as he calls to the kitten. The frightened kitten hesitates for a few minutes before jumping towards the center of the sarong. Hooray! They all cheer as the kitten lands safely. Meow! The kitten replies as if saying thank you. Come kitty, Nora says, follow us. After saying goodbye to their friends, Nora and Adi head home. Look at all of those from the tons, exclaims Nora. Hmm. Let's pluck some for Abba and Ibu, Adi says. Adi tiptoes and reaches for the red rambutans. Nora opens up the sarong and puts bunches of the fruit in it. Then she ties the opposite corners of the sarong together to make a bag. Abba, Ibu, we're back, shouts Nora when they get home. Come see what we have. Nora unties the sarong bag. Abba smiles when he sees the rambutans. After Abba gives the sarong a quick rinse and hangs it up at the window to dry, the family sits down to enjoy the juicy fruit. That night, it is cool and the full moon shines brightly in the sky. Good night, Sam, he whispers as she tucks Nora into bed. She pulls the sarong over Nora and kisses her gently on the forehead. As Nora sleeps, the faint scent of her little brother Putra, the soft touch of the kitten's fur, and the sweet taste of Ramut surrounded her in the comfort of the amazing sarong. The Wow, that was such an amazing journey of Singapore. I even got the chance to learn new things. I am so glad to call Singapore my home. Yes, me too. It sure is a walk down memory lane for me. But I also got to learn new things that I never knew about. Well, that's all for today. And here's us wishing you a happy National Day and a happy birthday to Singapore. Goodbye, Goodbye everyone. And, and we, we will see you soon. soon.